Hi everyone, I am Jun. Welcome to my channel. And for today's topic, it's about triangle. To be more specific, it is finding area of triangle. But before that, let me explain to you what is a triangle. A triangle is a polygon with three sides and three vertices. It is one of the basic shapes in geometry. That is according to the book. In other words, this one. Moving on, what is the importance of finding the area of a triangle? Supposedly, you are asked to find the area of a certain polygon, like pentagon. Did you know that pentagon has 5 triangles inside? Yes, it has. Solving the area of the triangle inside the pentagon is also solving the area of the pentagon. Right, we are going to find the area of the triangle inside of the pentagon, multiply it by 5, then we already get the area of the pentagon. I will show you. Supposedly, this is the pentagon and you have 5 triangles. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. After you solve the area of one of the triangles, then multiply it by 5, then you get the area of the pentagon. It is also the case with the hexagon with six triangles or heptagon with seven triangles and many other polygons. So much for that, I'm going to talk about now on how to find the area of a triangle. I have here a triangle. If I'm going to find the area of this triangle, what I'm going to do? I'm going to find a way to form this triangle into a parallelogram. But how? Okay? First, what I'm going to do is copy this triangle. One. Then, I'm going to click this vertically. Then, I will put them together to form a parallelogram. To find more about finding the area of the triangle, please do watch this video. Hello guys, for our example, let us study this triangle. The triangle having a height of 6 meter and a base of 8 meter. We are going to find the area of this triangle. What are we going to do is to copy this triangle with the same area. Right here. Then we're going to flip this vertically and join this triangle to the other triangle to form a parallelogram. Hence, we form a parallelogram. If we notice this line, this broken line become the height that is equals to 6 meters and at the bottom it became the base that is equals to 8 meters then applying the formula of area of parallelogram we have Area of the parallelogram is equals to base 
times height where height is equals to 6 meters and our base is equals to 8 meters substituting the value of height and base into the formula of the parallelogram we have area of the parallelogram is equals to 8 meters times 6 meters then we have area of the parallelogram is equals to 48 square meter since one half of the area of parallelogram is a triangle the area of the triangle is one half the area of the parallelogram so we're going to draw a line here to further explain what is mentioned above there then we're going to separate this triangle or excluded from the other triangle this one so we are going to focus only our attention on the area of this triangle then our area of triangle is equals to one half times base times height since base times height is equals to the area of parallelogram which is equals to 48 square meter then area of triangle is equals to one half times 48 square meter therefore our area of the triangle is equals to 24 square meter now I will show it to you the easiest way on finding the area of the triangle that we have discussed earlier copy the triangle with the same area there then flip vertically and join them together to form a parallelogram then we're going to remove this portion and put it here to form a rectangle next we're going to put a grid lines on top of this rectangle now you can clearly see these squares inside the rectangle then we're going to count the squares inside the rectangle so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve if one square is equals to four square meter hence area of parallelogram is equals to AP is equals to 12 squares times 4 square meter then the area of parallelogram is equals to 48 square meter then the area of triangle is equals to area of triangle is one half of the area of parallelogram so the area of triangle is equals to one half times 48 square meter then the area of triangle is equals to 24 square meter 
how to find the area of this figure if it is a right triangle. Make another copy of this right triangle. Then flip it vertically and join them together to form a rectangle. Then we're going to put a grid lines on top of this figure. Now you can see those squares inside the rectangle and we're going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. We have 20 squares. If one square is equals to one square meter, then the area of rectangle is equals to 20 square meter. Since one half of the area of rectangle is a triangle, the area of the triangle is one half the area of the rectangle. Therefore, the area of triangle is equals to one half of the area of the rectangle which is 20 square meter. So, area of triangle is equals to one half times 20 square meter. Then, the area of triangle now is equals to 10 square meter. May you have learned a lot from this video. Don't forget to leave your comment below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!